the culture in America is definitely a lot more starstruck. Mm -hmm. I walk my daughter to school every day. You know, I've been able to go to school here, university with no issues. People don't really approach me as much, but when they do, they're very polite. I think that it's just a very different community. It's just a very different culture. Mm -hmm. And that kind of was really important to me in raising my daughter. I didn't want her to have to. I remember when my brother was young, we went to, this is so funny, you're gonna, we went to the LA Zoo and we were on a golf cart because they were like taking us up a hill. I think we were going to where the reptiles were. And my brother was like, this guy is running after our golf cart. Oh my God. And he was like, Tara, Tara. And I'm like, just turn around, never mind. And they were like, so I think that's when we had to tell them, okay, you know, this is what I, you know, as they got older, but I definitely found that I remember even holding my daughter. I remember a valet guy like had a phone and was trying to take a selfie. Oh, and I'm no. like, I'm holding my child. It, it just became so invasive. Yeah. Ooh, that's like a hard stop for me is baby yeah. stuff. So, yeah. um, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Like you, there, you know, we're so entitled to our personal life. Like I've had guys argue with me on Twitter and say, "Well, it's so rude that you won't give a fan a picture," and I'm like, "Why are you it's so rude that? that you won't let me be with my child?" Mm -hmm. Wow, it's just, yeah, I, ooh, I hope that moment never comes because I don't know how I would react. I'm like so, so, so private with with him, like. I haven't shared his name. His photo's not anywhere online. Like I just try to give him that privacy, and then if he decides he doesn't want to want it later, that's up to him. Um, right. Yeah, I don't. I think you have to have that awareness of when is an appropriate time to approach someone and when's not, because like that child's not asking to be like famous or like you know what I mean. Like you just you just can't do that. That's crazy. Ooh, I would say my craziest fan experience. I was. Um, I was staying at this hotel that was connected to a mall. That sounds really weird. I don't know why I ended up at this hotel. I think I was like um, feature dancing. Were you featuring? Yeah. And they just put oh, okay. me there. So I was like, okay. Well, Their mentality is like, we'll put her next to the mall because she could get, you know, Victoria's Secret or. Yeah. She can spend like her free time there and not get bored or something. So I was walking around and I had this fan and I was on the phone. Like I was on the phone with my husband and he just comes up and he's like, oh my gosh, like, can I get a picture? Just starts taking it without waiting for my response. I'm like, okay, well, I'm on the phone. I have to go. And I was just like getting uncomfortable. So I went and I turned around to go back into the hotel. He starts following me and gets in the elevator with me. And I was like, you got to get out of the elevator. Like, you can't see what room I'm in. Like, this isn't okay. And like, he, it just didn't compute. And then he was acting like I was being super rude. I was like, don't get off the phone with me yet because there's like this situation happening. And it's, I don't think that that happens to most most celebrities, like most regular celebrities, and people don't right. understand, right? Like it goes back to when you're deciding what your what your value is. Like we have to deal with a lot of stuff that people don't consider, right? And then having someone invade like your the time with your child, like these are all things mm -hmm. that we have to deal with. Um, I think I remember hearing you say you stopped shooting like after you became mom. Was there like a reason, like why did you just have like a shift of um, just like how you saw the industry? Well, so I stopped shooting in 2008 okay. and my daughter was born in 2012. So it oh. was a full four years uh, before. So actually, funny enough, that period from 2008 till 2012, I was pretty out of the industry. I had moved actually to Las Vegas. So I'm very close with my family, mm -hmm. very close to both my parents. Um, I have a younger sister who's two years younger with me. She actually went on my book tour with me when I wrote my book and she did my accounting for a few years. So my family, I mean, listen, we never had Tara Patrick movie night, obviously, <laughs> but they're super, super <laughs> like, like, right? Like we ever would, but no, but I mean, they're super, super supportive. Mm -hmm. I've always had a very um, they've always been, you know, my mom's always like, look, that's my daughter on a billboard when I was featuring in Vegas. So they've always been, been good with my, with my choices, mm -hmm. I guess. And actually my dad's proudest moment, believe it or not, was when I post for high times because <laughs> he's actually a, a farmer, a grower. And I remember when I did the cover of high times, he got like four copies. Oh, and I was cute. Like, really? High times? But um, 
I stopped from 2008 to 2012 and I really got into real estate. So I started investing mm. and that was sort of weirdly enough after the crash, but that was sort of my mind kind of going forward. I was really taking that mental break. I was physically done. I think it was more as like you said earlier, I did everything that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. There wasn't really anything left to accomplish. I've had fans ask me such funny questions like, but didn't you want to do a gangbang? Didn't you want to work with so-and-so? Didn't you want to work with so-and-so? I'm like, well, then I'll never retire because it's not like you just get to, I mean, of course you get to cherry pick who you work mm -hmm. with, but it's not like it happens super fast, mm -hmm. you know, and you just shoot the scene right then and there. But I kind of told um, myself, this just, I want to, I'm, I'm going out on a high. I'm proud of the work that I've left behind. Mm -hmm. I look my best. Mm -hmm. It's really just time to start working smarter. Mm -hmm. I have to find some other things to invest in. I would really like to finish school and I'd really just like to secure my future. Mm -hmm. I was on my own and that was really, I think it was just a real, I'll, I'll be honest with you. It was a real it was like a soul. It was like a soul epiphany. Mm -hmm. I guess I had. It was, there was nothing bad that happened, and there was nothing. I think to look forward to. Mm -hmm. I saw the industry really shifting and changing. You know, especially with, I guess, like production wise. Yeah. I saw a lot of companies just kind of changing over. You know, there really just wasn't anything more to do. Mm -hmm.